Uh, first of all, hello, it's nice to meet you. Hi, Rob. Uh, movie is fantastic. Uh, I have to ask you, when did you first find out you were going to be in it, and what was your first reaction to the story pitch or script? Word had subtly drifted to me, um, thanks to my team, <laughs> that there was to be another one. And very soon after that, and by the way, I was at once interested because uh, the X-Men movies have played a very important part in my life, not just in terms of career, but just sheer pleasure of mm -hmm. the work. And then soon after that, word began to filter through that I should maybe erase all ideas of past X-Men Wolverine movies from my mind because this was going in a very different direction. I uh, have to ask, building on that, was it fun playing an angrier, sometimes crazy, uh, Charles Xavier who can curse back at Logan? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, it was uh, a, an absolute treat. Diversity and contrast have always been very important to me in the work that I do. I'm not interested in repeating the same thing over and over and over again mm. or being the same kind of person. And to have already existing a history of a character over I think five maybe six movies and then to have him blown apart Charles Xavier as he is in Logan was uh, thrilling for me a, a little challenging at times because we had to and we did with 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 James Mangold uh, spent a lot of hours of talking about how are these changes visible and evident in Charles Xavier? How far can we push them? When does he retreat back inside himself? When, for any brief moments, does he become the Charles Xavier that we have known and hopefully liked over the years? All of that was just uh, grist to the mill for me. Because you had to throw out essentially your preconceived notions of these characters in the previous lore, did they sort of give you like a, a, um, a new backstory? Because the setting of this film is very different. Mutants are, are nearly extinct. Xavier's different. Well, there is a significant backstory. Anyway, that exists. You can't tamper with that. Right. But there have been other events between the last time we saw the X-Men and Logan. And there was a time in the screenplay that, that this background was illuminated a little more visibly, mm -hmm. but that was then reduced. We only hint at incidents that have occurred in the not too distant past that have brought about the world that Logan and Charles are now living in. Um, because this is a, a very standalone film, and it, in, in a way it's its own timeline or universe, are there still more stories to tell with your Xavier and Ian McKellen's Magneto? Oh, you mentioned Ian McNair. <laughs> hey, Ian and I have just finished six months on stage. I know. And, uh, and I think he was quietly quite cross that he was left out of this, this film. <laughs> and I missed him, too. Um, in a franchise like this, uh, I don't think, despite the fact that he has said it, you can really never say never again. And I am... Uh, I am open to any future interest there might be in an, another Charles Xavier. Uh, for my last question then, this film nicely wraps up the Wolverine trilogy, uh, but there are many other X-Men films in development. Are there any that you're most excited to see as a viewer? Um, I have never been deeply involved in the comic books, so what future stories there might be, I am entirely ignorant of. But uh, if, if they come up and there might be a nod in, uh, in Patrick's direction, that's fine by me.